Hi everyone, are you someone who wants to learn DevOps and are confused whether you should take the Geeks for Geeks DevOps course or not? Well, in this video, I'm going to give a complete review of the Geeks for Geeks DevOps course and we're going to see everything in it. I have the course open right here and we're going to dive deep into it, seeing everything that it holds. So we're going to discuss how are the lectures, how are the class notes, whether there are any recordings given, whether there's any doubt support, all the way to whether there's any placement support or not. So I'll be answering all of your questions about the course. So do stick to the end. So once you get the course, this is what the homepage is going to look like. And if you want to purchase the course, then I've given a link in the description along with the coupon code. So make sure that you check the description out. Now, looking into the course, this is like I said, what it looks like. So you have chapters where you have different modules. And the first chapter, the first module that you have is everything about resume building. So here they'll be focusing on how you can build a resume as a DevOps engineer so that you can start getting shortlisted to multiple companies. So they have a variety of videos just in the resume building section, as you can see. So they have everything that you should put in your resume, what you should remove from your resume, how you can optimize your resume's ATS score and everything in between. And they have a video where they have a hands on resume building so that they build a resume, a sample resume in front of you so that you can take inspiration and put it in your own resume. And then they have a section for LinkedIn optimization as well so that how you can improve your LinkedIn so that the recruiter will be reaching out to you. So they have a very in-depth section for resume building. You can see they have multiple videos. Now, after that, you have class notes. So these are for live classes. These notes are for live classes because you have live classes, which happens weekly twice. And in these like notes, you'll find the content that they'll be teaching in the live lectures so that you can be prepared. So you can read these notes and go to the live lecture so that you'll be understanding things better. And in the live lectures, they will be going into depth in each of these topics. So these are the notes. You have class notes, then you have interview questions for all topics. And people are confused. People ask me this all the time. Does it start from scratch or, you know, is there any prerequisite? So let's check it out ourselves. So this is the first topic week one, the article and the live classes, which will be starting from the same topic. So they start from the Linux commands. So they start from the very basic, as you can see. They even start from what is Linux, as you can see, right? So they have these articles written. You can read these articles and then go to the live classes. Then you'll be able to understand things better. But even if you go to the live classes directly, even there, they're going to explain everything from scratch. So you don't need to worry. So you can go through the articles. They have everything explained. They have the basics of Linux. Then they have Linux commands, Linux folder and file structure. How do you create file? And all of the basic Linux commands, right from the very basic CD, RM, things like that. Then they have some DevOps projects, some real time scenarios of DevOps, and then they have basics of shell scripting and it goes on like that. And if you have any doubt, then they have doubt support as well. Something that will be going in depth later on in the video. So these are the notes that are there for the live lectures. Okay. Now, after that you have interview question and in every topic you have a contest as well. So the contest will open, you can appear in the contest and it will give you an idea of, you know, where you stand with your knowledge, how much you've learned, things like that. And then you have interview questions. So you have basic interview questions on each topic, like interview questions on DevOps fundamentals, what is Git, Docker and containerization, Kubernetes, basically everything about DevOps. They have multiple interview questions, which you might see in the interview itself. Okay. Now, after that is where the video start. So you have two kinds of videos. You have the recorded videos that are pre-recorded and then you have the live lectures. So the live lectures, like I said, will be happening bi-weekly. Now, these videos are pre-recorded and you can watch them at your own pace. These are basically self-paced videos. And so we can see one of the topic, for example. So this is the instructor and you can see that this is how they explain the video. They have uh, a pen, a sketch pad where they explain everything diagrammatically. They explain the commands, they explain the code and basically everything about it. So you have Linux installation, you have, uh, so it starts from that itself, you know, how to install certain things, how to use certain things at the very beginning, if you're a beginner. So it starts off like that. Okay. So in here, the instructor is explaining a little bit of history about how it got started, things like that. So these are, like I said, pre-recorded videos. Now, after you do the videos, then you have MCQs, you have articles here also, so that you can understand things better. Okay. So you have videos, you have MCQs, all of these topics. So it starts with Linux and shell scripting. Then you have Git and GitHub, you have AWS, and this is how the videos are. Okay. Now, after that you have live lectures. So this is the section 
we will be having live lectures okay so i wasn't able to attend the live lecture that i had and uh, i looked at the recording the recording is pretty good okay the teacher is explaining pretty good you can see the duration is 236 minutes so even though it is happening bi weekly the content is pretty in depth okay so let me try to play a couple of minutes so that you can understand how it goes so you can see that they explain everything okay right from the basics they explain everything in a practical sense so the instructor is in live in front of you teaching everything in practical manner and in live class you also have the option of asking your doubt getting it cleared then and there itself okay again going to the contest section like i said you have contests where you can take part and you can understand where you stand you know how much you're learning whether you're learning at the right way things like that or not okay now comes the most important part and probably the part that you're looking for are there placements there or not okay so let's see <clears throat> so they have a placement section okay and here they have jobs related to you okay so they have certain job openings you know the biggest issue that we face as software engineers either in devops or any other domain the biggest issue we face is the lack of job opportunities so geeks for geeks is bringing those opportunities to you so you don't have any placement guarantee it's not a placement guarantee course but you have placement assistance so here they have different job openings and again it comes time to time so this is the one this is the one that they have for this month next month they might have uh, something new so new job opportunities will keep on coming okay and uh, as you progress through the course you'll be getting open to more and more job profiles that you can apply to and obviously if you apply via geeks for geeks you'll have their resume so it'll give you a you know kind of a added advantage rather than applying directly on our website like linkedin or nokri okay and uh, i know you might be thinking what about doubt support so you might have noticed that i've missed doubt support because there's no particular section or area for doubt support wherever you are anywhere you are whether you're watching a video whether you're writing an article whether you're in the middle of contest you can get your doubts cleared where from here so here you have the option of asking a doubt you can mention which chapter you have the doubt in whether you have the doubt in live whether you have the doubt in recorded section you can ask the question here you can you know like say the topic from where you had the question and then you can like mention your issue and explain everything here once you do that someone will get back to you so they have doubt solver people they'll get back to you and they'll be clearing your doubt so that's how the course looks like if you ask my opinion i've gone through the videos although i didn't attend the live i went through the recording if you ask my opinion it is pretty good okay especially if you're a beginner and you want to get a job into devops or even if you're a working professional and you know you want to come into the devops domain or you want to switch into a better role as a devops engineer or as a sre then definitely this is a course that you can take so you have multiple videos you have live lectures coming every week two of them and then you have like all of these notes lectures doubt solving placement assist assistance etc so that's pretty much it if you still have any doubts or if you want to know more about any particular section then feel free to leave it in a comment i'll be sure to get back to you and again if you want to purchase the course then don't forget the coupon code which is there in the description you can check it out from there and that's all let me know what course you want me to review next thank you